So here's a question for your homework, you're gonna have to answer it now. But how are the aging of the baby boomers in particular, and new services and new technology going to fundamentally change, if you will, how you deliver care, how you operate your system, and how people are trained within the next three, five, and I dare say even 10 years? So just think in terms of outwards, where is this all going? Let me give you a few assumptions going in that you can argue with and we can certainly talk about. My assumptions going in are the following, is that the baby boomers that, how many of us, let's do the test, how many of you are born between 46 and 64? Okay, see the people who do not have their hands up? If they're on the young side, they wish you would just go away, and if they're on the older side, they wish you just shut up. <laughs> so, the baby boomers, biggest difference is not their numbers, they have that. It's not necessarily the fact that despite the economy, they still have more discretionary income than any other group. That's not it either. It's that they have greater expectations that somehow, some way, tomorrow is going to be met. Whether it's a silver bullet, a new molecule, or a new service, someone out there is going to make my old age different than my parents. And that's going to be driving, if you will, new markets, new technologies, and services. Technology in itself is going to start changing not only how we deliver service, but I would submit to you, here's the big thing for you to think about, it's going to invite new players. That business, in fact, is now looking at the aging of the population and new technology and saying, gee, how can we get into that market, per se? So you're either going to have new competitors or new partners at these tables in the future as to who's going to be out there. And then finally, public-private partnerships, organizational uh, uh, designs that are going to be leveraging technology, and new professions that we don't know exist yet, will be coming out in the next five to 10 years that will change fundamentally how we provide care in people's homes. 